What's up, my achievement spongies? Mayhem Blizz, we're playing Dordan for the 41000G. It's available on Xbox Game Pass, so if you've got that, Donny, pick this up. You can get the 41000G in around two and a half hours, so let's get it. There are quite a lot of collectibles in this game, but thankfully, Chapter Select has been introduced with a collectible counter, so if you do miss any, you can simply replay a chapter to pick those up. Starting chapter one then, you'll want to press and hold the A button on your bag and up on the left stick to open it. And then we're gonna interact with the phone and we're going to mash the A button to get through all of the screens as well as the dialogue. Once the phone is put away, we can interact with the papers on the driver's seat and this will be letters one and two collected. After the cutscene, we will be tasked with finding a way into the garden. We can interact with the front gate and then we can interact with this mailbox. We can press and hold the A button and up on the left stick to open the lid of the mailbox and we just want to pull out all of the mail out of the mailbox. The last piece of mail will be our third letter, and that's the last letter of chapter one. Grab the whole mailbox and move the left stick to the right and left back and forth to shake it. We can then rotate the mailbox with the right stick, and then we'll want to interact with the two screws at the top, and then rotate the left stick to unscrew those. And then once that's done, we can press the A button to remove the back plate and interact with the key. Lift the gate hatch, then push the gate forward. So walk up to the front door of the house and then we can interact with it. You'll then have to guide the key into the hole. I have no idea why I struggled with this so much, but if you fail, you can pick it up off the floor again and try again. You can rotate the key, turn the doorknob and push the door forward. So here is our first missable achievement. We need to enter the kitchen and the living room without using the candle. So head to the right hand side to go into the kitchen, then go over to the left hand side to the living room and you'll get the black as a happy color for 25 gamer score. Once you've got that, you can interact with the candle and then we're going to interact with it again. And then we're gonna pull the matchbox tray out of the matchbox, interact with a match and do a swiping motion on the side of the box. And then we can bring that over to the candle. So we're gonna find our first memory and the memory take us back to our younger self. So you wanna interact with this pen, rotate it slightly and then take the cap off. And then inside the cap is a little note for us. So rotate it slightly and then we're going to pull that out. And then reading it will get us the first memory achievement for 20 gamer score. And we'll get a cutscene taking us back to our younger self. So interact with the gate and along the path, you will notice an orange diamond that we can interact with to pick up sticker number one. There'll be another sticker located on the slight path to the left. So make sure to grab that. And then we can head right across the front guard Garden, and then we're going to interact with this gate and then at the very end of this path you'll find sticker number three. So inside the house, if we go into the living room to the left hand side, on the sort of dining table, you can find sticker number four. And then head back in the corridor, located next to the stairs is sticker number five. Just opposite that sticker then, on this cabinet to the right is sticker number six. Once upstairs, we're going to use the toilet, so head over to the right hand side to head into the bathroom. Toilet is located all the way over to the right hand side. We're going to be using the toilet every single day for an achievement. So head out of the bathroom, over to the left hand side into your bedroom interact with our suitcase to start unpacking press and hold the a button on the suitcase hatches to open them and then lift the lid of the suitcase we're going to open the first drawer drag mum and those clothes into the first drawer and then we're going to select dad drag those into the drawer and then we can close this drawer and open up the second one and then we're going to drag in hope and then we can close this one and then open the last drawer and then we've only got one option to choose from the moving away so let's drag that in there, close that last drawer, and then we can interact with this map that's in the suitcase. And then press the B button to stop viewing the map, and then we're going to head back downstairs. And then to the right in the kitchen to see Grandma, and she's given us a task to do some drawings in the living room. So head to the left into the living room, and then at the back of the living room, you'll find this binder. Interact with that. And there is a missable achievement here. We need to draw a both of our parents holding hands. Plop your dad wherever you would like. I just put him on the right side here. And then your mum, we just need to make sure that a hand outline is overlapping our dad's hand. And you'll get the loving family achievement for 25 gamer score. There'll be a cutscene with a bit of an argument as we drew in our granddad's binder instead of finding some paper. Um, and then we'll have to choose some prompts here. Select sorry. 
and then select binder and then our grandma is just going to show us how to use the binder so you can press the, the left or right triggers to switch tabs to see your objectives and your collectibles that you've gotten and then once you're happy with that you can exit the binder with the b button and you'll get the binder achievement for 15 gamer score that will end out chapter one and the memory chapter two then we are tasked with getting some natural light into the house so straight off the bat we can head into the living room and then we're going to interact with the windows to open the shutters once you've done that we're going to head into the kitchen and interact with the windows in here to open these shutters and then once you've done that task we're going to go back into the corridor then and then if you head towards the screen you'll find a second bathroom we can interact with this box of magazines here and then you're going to pull them towards you until you find letter number four so now we're going to go upstairs and into our room we're going to open up the windows and the shutters to get some light in here And then we can interact with the chest of drawers. Open the first drawer. And then we can interact with the cassette tape. And this will be the first of 14 tapes that we need for an achievement. And then you can pick up and find letters five and six. And then once you've done that, pick up the camera. And then we're going to interact with it. And then we're going to press and hold the A button and up on the left stick to unfold it. And then we're going to press A on this button on the side. And then we're going to attach the straps to the back of the camera by dragging them. And then we're going to drag the film cartridge to the front of the camera. And then we're going to hit the red button and this will trigger another memory. So then we are tasked to get ready for the day. And there is a blue star there on the floor. If you interact with it, that will get you dressed. So before heading downstairs, we have a few collectibles to grab. We have our first word collectible at the top of the stairs. And then we have our seventh sticker on this unit here. And then we can head inside the bathroom and we can find sticker number eight near the bath. And then as it's a new day, we'll use the toilet. Then we can head downstairs and collect some more collectibles. So we want to head into the second bathroom. And then we're going to interact with the box of magazines. You'll find tape number two leaning towards it. And then if we pull the magazines towards us, we'll find our second word. And then if you head into the living room, on the dining table is another sticker for us to collect. And then behind the dining table towards this conservatory is another word for us to collect. Once you've got both of those, head into the kitchen to find another tape on the kitchen table and then you're good to take a seat. So there is a missable achievement here. Make sure you're ready to quit to the main menu if you do fail uh, so you can keep retrying it. So we're going to interact with the word bitter and then we need to pour the milk into our bowl without spilling a drop. So you want to position the jug to the left hand side and tilt it slightly with the right stick to pour. Now try to line up the spout of the jug just below the wording on the cereal box. Again, it doesn't matter too much as you can simply quit out and try again. After that then, to proceed, we are going to select the word lost to pick up some toast. And then we're gonna select the word deep and spread that butter over our toast. And then we're gonna select alone and spread some honey over our toast as well. And then after this dialogue, we're gonna select habits and pour some cereal into our bowl. This time it doesn't matter about being precise, we can just go ham with it. <laughs> Once you're satisfied and poured enough cereal into your bowl, you can place the box back down and then we can select the following prompts. Select I'm okay here and then select friends. Once we're outside the front of the house again, we'll have to wait for the dialogue to finish and there'll be a word for us to collect in this left hand path again. So the word is lavender, pick that up and then head on. So we're just going to follow a grandma, she's a bit slow, so you can whammy on past her. And then once you get to this section, after you've unlocked that new location, there'll be sticker number 10 for us to collect. So pick that up and then speak to grandma and she will give you the camera and that will get you the camera achievement for 15 gamer score. And then press the A button to skip across these rocks and interact with the blue eye icon at the end. 
So that will take you to this first person view. You can whip out your camera by pressing down on the D-pad and then we can press the A button to aim the camera. Then we can press the A button again to snap a picture. After we've taken our first picture, our grandma will tell us to take a picture of the hot air balloons. So do that. I do decide to just get the 10 picture achievement, which is the cheese achievement for 15 gamer score. And then I grind out the rest of the pictures while grinding out creating the craft pages. And then we have a few prompts to select here. So select fun in the top right hand corner and then we're going to select you in the middle and then we're going to select decorate in the bottom left. So here we're tasked with crafting our first page. There is an achievement related to crafting pages but at the moment we just need to craft one. Select this pink flower to bring up your collection of stickers and choose any sticker here. Then press the A button and then click the pen icon to go into your selection of words. Again, we can select anyone here. We need to select three lots of words. Then select the Polaroid to go into your pictures and then select anyone here and again place that on the page and then you'll be asked to validate it or modify. We're going to press the A button to validate it and that will end the scene. Chapter three then, we're gonna start by following the cat. So head across the front garden to the right hand side where the gate is, but now it's been overgrown with some bushes. So we need to interact with the bushes to move those out of the way. So once you've followed along and move those bushes out of the way, press A on the gate and push forward to open it. And then once here, there is a missable achievement. We need to interact with the cat five times. Here he is on the left, so press the A button on him. And then he's moved all the way over to the right-hand side, so press A again. We need to do that three more times. And you'll get your pst achievement for 25 game score. So now we're good to head inside the house and find those cat treats. So we want to head into the kitchen and you can see one lot of treats on the radiator. Head over to there and interact with it to pick it up. And then on the kitchen table is our second lot of treats. And then on the fridge is our letter number seven. So walk over to the fridge and then interact with the letter. And then in the room to our left is our third lot of cat treats. So interact with that jar. And then we're good to head back to the cat. So back outside the front door, across the front garden, through the gate. We want to interact with the cat and we want to select the homemade treats, the middle option here. So here we need to throw the treats in a particular distance to entice him towards us. So throw a treat at the already defined location and then throw a treat about halfway. And then the third treat you can throw directly underneath you. Once you've done that, you can interact with the cat to retrieve the key. So now that you've got the key, we can head to the cave door. This cave door was shown in the cutscene, but obviously I've cut those out. So the cave door is located here. So interact with that. And then like before, we need to move the key into the keyhole. Uh, hey, I did that one a little bit better that time. So rotate the key and then move the handle to the center and then push the handle forwards. So once you're in, you can find letter number eight pinned above the workbench. Once you've got that, we want to interact with the kayak at the end of the room. And then we'll want to rotate it and interact with these handprints. Straight away in this memory then, head into your room and at the base of the bed, you'll find word number five. And then we're good to head out and as it's a new day, you know what it is, we're gonna head to the bathroom and use the toilet. Once that's done, we need to head to the sink to brush our teeth. We can use the right stick to grab the toothpaste and then we just need to get those two close together to apply the toothpaste. And then we move the toothbrush back and forth, place the toothbrush back in the glass, pick up the red cup to rinse our mouth and then we want to grab the outfit from the top left. Once we're all fresh and ready, we'll need to get through the dialogue. Once the dialogue is finished, we'll be able to head through the front door. Something. My father and his mother became more distant. I didn't notice it back then. I felt that something was wrong. And they never spoke about it. Is that why I don't remember that summer? Once outside, we can head to the left-hand path again and pick up the word beautiful for word number six. Opposite to the right near this plant pot is our 11th sticker. And then we're gonna find grandma. She's gonna be over near the cave door. And then in the sort of greenhouse looking thing is sticker number 12. So now we can head inside the cave and you can see a tape on this barrel. So head over there and pick this up. And then behind this barrel, you'll be able to flag word number seven to grab. And then we're gonna complete our task by picking up 
the trowel on the workbench and then before you leave make sure you walk towards the kayak to flag that dialogue you kind of see me do it while the sticker has popped up i don't know how i managed to move while that sticker was popping so we now have a mini game so interact with grandma and then we want to pull up some weeds so press the a button on these weeds and then shake the left stick left to right once you've done all the weeds we need to pick up the trowel in the bottom right hand corner so interact with that and then we're going to hover over this square until the a button appears for us to dig a hole and then once that's done just for argument's sake pick the same uh, plant as me i'm going to choose the rose bush so we're going to hold the a button and move down on the left stick to remove the plant pot press the a button to put it into the hole and then we're going to move the soil back towards the plant i mean i'm no expert but that looks like a poor job right so we're going to interact with a tap on the left hand side to get some water and then interact with the watering can like we've done before we're going to tip the water onto the rose bush and then we'll get the rose sticker so once that's done we're going to follow our grandma head out the front gate but instead of following her down we're going to head up the right hand path here and this is where i decided to grind out the rest of my pictures so just before you get to that viewpoint you'll find the word fresh and that'll be our word number eight and then interact with the viewpoint whip out your camera by pressing down on the d-pad and then aim your camera with the a button and then a to capture a picture so we're going to grind out those other two achievements the uh, achievement for taking 20 pictures and the achievement for taking 50 pictures I've cut that out of the video as it would be a bit boring for you to watch me take 50 pictures. So just pause the video until you get that Sarah Moon achievement and then we can continue on. Once you've got that then we're going to quit out of this viewpoint and we're going to craft our binder pages. So left on the d-pad to bring up your binder and we're going to tab over to the creation page by pressing the right trigger a couple of times and then we're going to spam create 20 pages here. So select a sticker and place that anywhere, select any words and place that anywhere and then select any Polaroid and place that. Once you've placed all of those, we can validate the page with the A button and then we're going to rinse and repeat this until you get the Marcel Proust achievement for 90 gamer score. Obviously, you'll get the other two achievements, Holiday Homework, and It's Just Getting Started for creating 5 and 10 pages. Uh, again, pause the video and join me once you've completed those. Once you've done that, we're good to follow Grandma, and we're basically heading to the market. So we're going to head down and just follow the path. Skip across these rocks and keep heading right and then once you reach the market, you'll get to the market achievement for 15 gamer score. Once we have control then, we need to speak to all of these shop owners. So the first one here on the left in this stall, and there is a sticker on the right hand side in this crate that we can grab before speaking to the shop owner. So grab that, speak to the shop owner, get through the dialogue and then head out. We're gonna head up and top left to this shop owner. On the right hand side, we can interact with this to obtain another sticker. Over to the left hand side in front of the dog on the table is another tape for us. And then just behind the dog is another word for us. And then we're all good to speak to this other shop owner. Unfortunately, he does not have a glue or wood as well as that has been stolen. So heading through the middle here and then up. On the stool to the right is another sticker for us. And then just at the back in between both of these stools is another word for us to collect. And that's the collectibles in this section. We can speak to this shop owner. And we're actually a bit of in luck here. We did get some rhubarb. So now we can head down and in the middle. We can head down here and interact and collect this sticker and then interact with the shop owner to obtain some tomato seeds. One more shop owner then, we need to head to the bakery. This is located in the bottom right hand corner. In front of this crowd of people is the word crowd. Uh, another collectible for us. So we're going to head up these steps, interact with the door of the bakery, speak with the owner and you'll get your baguette. Now we've got all those items, we're good to head back to Grandma. Okay. 
we have another missable achievement coming up and we need to take a picture of the thief running through the market again quit out to the main menu if you do miss this but what we're going to do is pan all the way to the left hand side where these kids are playing in the background and there is a plant pot as soon as you see him run into the view press the a button and that will get you the gotcha achievement for 15 gamer score So now we're ending out this chapter by selecting some prompts. The first prompt we're going to select is awesome. The next prompt we're going to select kayak. And then we're going to select market. And then we're going to finish it off by crafting a page. Select any old sticker here, Polaroid and words. Validate the page and that will end the chapter. Starting chapter four then, we are tasked with making some tea. So we're going to head to the house and into the kitchen and there'll be a mini game for us. And in this mini game will be an achievement. There is a letter collectible number 11 for us to collect there. And we've got a few things to align us up for this achievement. So drag the kettle over to the sink, lift the lid of the kettle, interact with the tap to fill it up. We're gonna close the lid, drag the kettle back over and turn it on. And then we're going to select the largest mug to make it easier for ourselves. I believe you can choose any type of tea here. I just chose the middle one. Take the lid off, grab the spoon, and place that into the infuser. Pick up that infuser and place it into the mug. And then this is where we need to be careful. So align the spout up uh, so it's pretty much touching that infuser. So when you're pouring it, it can go directly into the mug. This one is a little bit easier. Again, we can do the same method. If you do fail this, you can quit out to main menu and continue. So that's the sniper achievement for 25 gamer score. Once you're done, take the infuser out and pull the mug towards you. And our next task then is to find a way into the attic. This one's simple enough. We're gonna head upstairs and we can find the key low located above the door so interact with that to pick it up to point our cursor at it and then place the key in the hole turn the key turn the doorknob and then push on forward up the stairs then and in the bookcase on the right hand side you can see a letter poking out that is letter collectible number 12. And then what we're going to do is head onto the sofa and interact with this keypad. There is a bit of a puzzle and we need to work out the code, but already I already know the code for you. And the code is 7245. So input that. That will activate the train. And then we can interact with the train to pick up the recorder on it. That will get us the recorder achievement for 15 gamer score. We want to plug the headphones into the Walkman and then we want to plug the microphone into the other end. And once you've done that, hit the play button and that will initiate another memory. Right off the bat then, we can collect the word secrets. This is word 12. And then on the crate to the left hand side, we can find tape number six. And then up from here on the vinyl player, we will find sticker number 17. And then just on the cardboard box on the right of this is sticker number 18. Once you've collected that, we're gonna head to the sofa again and interact with the keypad. We need to get that Walkman for the second time. So collect that off of the train. Once we've got that, we're going to be chucked into a first person view up on the D-pad to whip out our Walkman. And then what you want to do is aim at the train on the right hand side and then press the A button again to record the sound. There are 14 sounds to record for an achievement and the train is one of them. If you did miss it on the right hand side, you can get it again there on the left hand side. And then to continue on, we need to get our camera out with the down on the D-pad. Take a picture of anything in this room and then quit out to carry on. We are then tasked to repair the kayak, but before going into the cave, we're going to head into the house up the stairs and take a pee pee. So head into the bathroom and use the toilet. That'll be this one for chapter four complete. And then once you've done that, head on outside and head to the cave. And then once you enter the cave, we have a few more collectibles to get. Here on the right of the barrel, we have a sticker. This is sticker number 19. And then as you can see on the barrel itself is tape number seven. So make sure to pick that up. And then there is a word located on the left hand side. This is word 13 and then speak to grandma. And then we've got a little mini game to do on the kayak. So we need to fix it. So we're gonna rotate it and then click one of the holes. Start with the one on the left. And then we need to trace around the hole with the glue, the A button and the left stick, and then choose the matching panel then we're selecting the hole on the right hand side 
Again, tracing it with the glue, then we're selecting the panel top left, and then we're gonna rotate it all the way around. Click the last hole, trace it with the glue, and then select the last panel. And then we're gonna give it a lick of paint, interact with the paint bucket, and then just lap that onto the kayak, rotate it, and then do the other side, and then we can interact with the handprint, and that is fixed and done. Before boarding the kayak, we're going to skip across these rocks and go to the viewpoint again. We can grab a couple of sounds. So interact with the viewpoint, whip out your Walkman with up on the D-pad, and then just aim directly in front of you. So we haven't even moved the cursor at all. This will get us one sound. And then the second sound will be one of the hot air balloons. So make sure both of those tapes showed up on screen when you collected those sounds. And you also got your just listen achievement for 15 gamer score. Once you've got that, we can skip back across the rocks and then interact with the kayak and we'll get the kayaking achievement for 15 gamer score. We're just gonna use the left stick to follow the stream. And then you'll know you'll get to the end because there'll be a red explanation mark to interact with. You can kind of see it now just on the land here on the right. So interact with that. So after that dialogue, we need to help raise the legs to get up, just like me in the morning. And that was unfortunate. We need to collect these items in the river. Just on the right here is a sticker for us to collect. And then we want to pick up the basket on the right hand side near the kayak. And then if we interact with this sort of star behind this bush, we'll get into our swimsuit. Now we're in our swimsuit, we can head into the water with the A button, and then we're going to make our way towards the rocks. So you'll see the splash, press the A button to interact with it, and then we just need to move the left and right stick to collect the items under the water. So we're gonna head around these rocks. There's a sticker for us to collect on this rock. So interact with that, and then making our way around, interacting with this sort of splash area here. Got a spoon to collect. And then there's one more splash area for us to interact with. So up here near the light, interact with this area, and then move your left and right stick to pick up those items. That's all the items then, we can head back to grandma. Press the A button. There'll be a short cut scene and then we'll be tasked to investigate the shadow in the trees. So head into this bush and interact with it to change out of our swimsuit. Then we're just gonna head up straight from grandma. So we can interact with these vines to climb up and then just up here is word number 14. Once you slide down here then, there'll be word number 15 for us to collect. And then if you come to this cliff edge on the left hand side, you can collect the word peaceful. And then you'll come across these beams. Instead of jumping across these beams, we're going to drop down purposely to find another word and then we can climb the vines over to the right hand side. You can see the word funny, so we can collect that. And we can use this sort of as a rope swing. Another word for us to collect then, to make sure to grab that. Uh, so this one was a little bit finicky for me. Instead of trying to grab it all the way to the left hand side, try coming towards the screen and obtaining it that way. After that cutscene then, you'll be teleported back to your grandma. We need to get changed in the bush into our swimsuit, as in the cutscene, the thief had thrown something in the river for us to collect. You can find it located here, press the A button, and then we're just gonna use the left stick to grab it. 
We can head back to grandma. We do need to get changed before speaking to her. And then we've got some prompts to select. So select explore. And then select beautiful. And then select enjoy. And then we'll be teleported into the kayak. So we're gonna head back. So just like you did before, follow the stream and then you'll come to an area with a red explanation mark that we need to interact with to get off the kayak. Again, we'll be teleported back to the house. Our grandma has forgotten some eggs, so she's gonna head back to the market. And then we're going to solve the puzzle that we picked out of the river. So A button to open the bag and wiggle the left stick left and right. And then we're going to pick out all the items out of the bag. So we then want to drag these drawings onto the map. Uh, you can just follow along with me um, or you could fast forward just to see the end solution and then copy that. Once you dragged all of those onto the map, draw around the rocks in the bottom right hand corner and then the hot air balloon in the top left hand corner and then the bottom left hand corner and then the top right. And then that point in the middle, we just need to interact with that to circle it to find the thief's location. After that, then we're going to climb this tree. So interact with that. And then what we need to do is slingshot Yahoo to the words on screen. And then lastly, slingshot the word Yahoo to the thief. And then we're just going to finish off by creating and crafting our page to end this chapter. So again, any sticker, any sentence, any Polaroid and any sound. We can validate that page and then we'll be on to chapter five. Start of chapter five then, we are tasked with exploring the tree in the garden. Uh, but before doing that, we can head to the vinyl player and we'll find letter number 11. So here we are then, interact with the tree, and then we can grab this jar from the trunk, wiggle the left stick to loosen it, take the lid off of the jar, and then we're gonna pull these items out of the jar. This is letter number 12. We can open this book and then just flick through these pages until a memory is initiated. Starting off in this memory then, as we're in a new chapter, we're gonna use the toilet. Then once you've done that, we're gonna head out the bathroom and we're going to head into our room. And then on the chest of drawers, you can see tape number eight. And then we're going to head downstairs. We're going to head into the living room where our grandma is sleeping. On the table, you can find tape number nine. And then just at the end of the sofa here to the left is word number 21. Once you've got those, we can head on outside. Near this plant pot is a sticker. This is sticker number 22. And then once you've head outside the gate, head all the way over to the right-hand side to this viewpoint. And we're going to get some more sounds. So up on the D-pad to get our Walkman out and then aim towards this this bush just left of the village to obtain sound number four. And then aim at this red barn at the bottom of this field for sound number five. And then aim in the center of this river for sound number six. And then lastly, aim top right at this church bell for sound number seven and then you're all good to quit out of that viewpoint. And then we can head down. I'm so Often the ten -year -old and then we have some dialogue and we need to wait for the dialogue to finish to obtain this word on the left hand side. So grab that word, that word is word 22. And then we can skip across these rocks to the viewpoint. Get your recorder out by pressing up on the D-pad. Look to the right hand side. Inside this bush is sound number eight and you'll get your did you hear that achievement for 30 game score. 
and then back across the stones just before we go onto the kayak if you go to the left you'll find word 23. Once you've got that then interact with the kayak and like before we're just going to follow the stream. I've cut this one as it's just relatively self-explanatory where we're going. Get to the explanation mark, interact with that and you will arrive here and then you can obtain this jar hanging from this tree branch with the A button and then what we want to do is collect some fireflies. But before we do that, just left of the fireflies is word 24, so make sure you obtain that, and then you can interact with the fireflies. For this mini game, just move both the left and right toggle to the middle, and then back out again, and rinse and repeat that. It's much more efficient to just go in and out, rather than focusing on a particular firefly. For this section then, we just want to make our way through the cave, We'll have some jumps to do and some words to collect. So jump down here and then across here and we can collect this word for word 25. And then we just want to follow the rest of those fireflies. So make your way across these rocks. And then we can get this word for word 26. And then word 27 is located here just before you enter this hole. Word 28 is located here, a real obvious one. And then anger is also located here. And then our last obvious word here for this cave section. This is word 30. Completing that cave section then will get you the Renault achievement for 15 gamer score. Once in Renault's hideout, you can see the book in the back of the hideout, so head towards that and interact with it and you'll go into first person view after the dialogue. So in this view, we have five sounds we can collect here. So up on the D-pad to get your Walkman out. And then we need to aim at the top of these trees just in front of you for sound nine. And then we're gonna aim at the road just above these trees, left of the house in the middle for sound 10. And then just left of that, we're gonna aim at the river for sound 11. And then we're gonna aim at the house in the center for sound 12. And then lastly, aim at the field in the bottom right-hand corner for sound 13. And then once you've completed that, down on the D-pad to get your camera out and we can take a picture of anything. Now we are coming up to a missable achievement. We need to copy Renault without making any mistakes. Now if you do make a mistake, be sure to quit out and try again. So there will be a visual indicator around Renault to tell you what directions to hit. So for me, the first sequence was up and then right. And then the second sequence was up, right, left. And then the last sequence for me was up, right, left, up. And then if you've done that flawlessly, you'll get the outstanding imitator achievement for 25 gamer score. After that, then you'll spawn back in your room and we all need to go downstairs uh, in the front garden to speak to our grandma. So sit on the seat and that will initiate some dialogue and then we've got some prompts to select. So select adventure. And then exploration. And then select free. And 
And then you know what to do. We're crafting one more page to end out this chapter. So select anything, validate it, and that will be that memory complete. So chapter six then, our task is to find that scarf. But what we're going to do is head inside and head into the kitchen. And then we're going to head into the room to the left and we'll find letter number 13. So collect that. And then we're going to head upstairs. We're going to head into our grandma's room. So we haven't actually gone into this room before. It's over to the right hand side. In here. And then on the chair on the left you can see a letter number 14. So make sure to interact with that. And then we're going to go to the wardrobe and interact with that. And we're going to move some clothes out of the way to find the scarf. So interact with the scarf. And then we're going to interact with it again in the mirror. And there'll be a photograph. So interact with the photograph. And then interact with the watch in the photograph. And that will initiate another memory. So before helping our grandma with the picnic, we're going to head on upstairs. And on this bench is a tape for us. This is tape number 10. And then we're going to go into the bathroom as it's a new chapter. And we're going to use the toilet. Now we're all good to go help our grandma. So back into the kitchen and then we're going to interact with grandma. And then we'll have some prompts and foods to select. So we're going to select Renault. This will pick up the potato, pick up the knife and interact with the potato. You just need to mash the A button to cut those. Then we're going to select wild, which is the garlic. Again, pick up the knife and just mash the A button to get through it. Then we're going to turn on the oven, the A button, and then we're going to drag the saucepan onto the hob. Open the lid of the duck fat, grab a spoon and interact with the duck fat. Drag it over to the saucepan to place it in. And then we're going to select the prompt holidays, which is the pepper. So drag that into our dish and press the A button. And then we're going to select problems, which is the salt. Press the A button to add that to our dish. And then we're gonna press A and shake it with the left stick and then pour that into our pan. And then we're gonna interact with the saucepan and move that left to right to give it a shake. And we do that about three times to end that scene. Once here then head towards the cave entrance and you can find tape number 11 on the table. And then we're good to follow our grandma. We're gonna go out the front gate, but then we're gonna turn right to the viewpoint. So we can collect our last sound here interact with the viewpoint and we're going to aim at the village i don't know why we couldn't get this before and that will get us the jean-claude van damme achievement for 90 game score sorry that's all i can think of when i hear jean-claude anyway take a picture and quit out of the view and then we're going to catch up with our grandma Here then, like before, we need to wait for the dialogue to complete to be able to pick up this collectible. It's going to appear on this left hand side and it's sticker number 23. And then after that sticker, please, please, please be careful here. This word 31, if you go too close to the edge, you'll get into the next scene and you won't be able to get back. If you do get into the next scene, you can just quit out and retry again. So sticker number 24 is located here on the left. And then just to the right is a tiny word, snack, for us to collect. This is word 32. And then we're all good to head into the kayak and head towards our picnic. Again, I'm going to cut this one as we've already done this a few times. Once you're on the beach, you can head to the right and find a sticker behind the kayak. And then we can find our final word at the back of the beach in this bush. And that will get you the dictionary is not an option achievement for 90 game score. And then we'll head up again, which will initiate a cutscene, and we'll be tasked with creating a pine cone toy. So select the pine cone and then slap some glue on it and drag some eyes and sticks onto it. It doesn't matter where you put them. And then finishing that will get you the last sticker and the pimp your laptop achievement for 90 game score. Here then we'll have some prompts to select. We're going to select ready. And then decorations. And then hide and seek. And then everything okay. And then problem. 
and then lastly watch. After a bit of a cutscene then we're going to craft a page to end out this memory and this chapter. Starting chapter 7 then we can find letter 15 located on the bed so interact with that. And then heading out of grandma's room if we go into our room and on the chest of drawers we can interact with this this is letter 16 and then we're going to head downstairs into the living room and then at the back of the room where we found the binder before we can interact with the watch on the left hand side this is going to scatter some newspapers on the floor we just need to move these out of the way interact with the watch and then interact with this newspaper and that will initiate the last memory. So starting off in this memory, if we head out of this room and head towards grandma's room, we'll get the last tape and 30 gamer score. Quit out of that and then head into the bathroom and we're going to use the toilet for the last time for the Leica Swiss clock achievement for 25 gamer score. And then we can head downstairs and outside. We're going to head to the kayak because we're finding something to fix Renault's watch. Here then, interact with the kayak. And then when we get to the kayak scene, we're going to aim for the logs. So basically, this is endless uh, until you fail. So you might as well purposely hit the logs to end it quicker. After that cutscene, we're going to be underwater. Just follow the path and collect the letters. Here then you'll just want to keep holding right to edge closer and you'll also get the Calabre achievement for 15 gamer score. After the cutscene you'll be playing as Renault and you'll want to avoid the logs this time so you can avoid them by diving with the A button or simply going left or right. Once you have successfully done that, you'll reach Mimi and you'll need to move the branches on top of her. And there is a missable achievement coming up. We need to complete CPR on Mimi without messing up once. So like before, if you do make a mistake, simply quit out and try again. So you need to press the A button as soon as the pulse circle is in within these two lines. You do this three times and you'll get the first aid achievement for 25 gamer score.
Last chapter then, we will want to follow the rustling in the bushes from right to left, and then Renault will appear. And then we want to select these final prompts. We're going to select Renault. And then Nora's passing. And then the Calibre. And then we're going to look inside the briefcase. So select the tapes, select the pine cone, and then select these letters, and then the binder. And then you can see a envelope to the right hand side. If you interact with that, you'll get the end or the beginning achievement for 15 gamer score, and you also get the postman achievement for collecting all of the letters for 30 gamer score. And that is your 4-1000G guys, I hope you're liking these videos, I'm trying to create lots of guides for the game pass as I know you guys enjoy those. I appreciate all the love you guys have been showing me and getting me to 1500 subscribers, we are so close to 1600, I wonder if we can hit 2k before the end of the year. Uh, thanks so much for watching guys, you know what it is, if you could drop a sub on the channel and I'll keep dropping vids like this, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Life is a really precious story, so you have to write your own. Explore your life like a beautiful valley on a hot summer's day. Record the colors and the sounds around you like you did back then. Are you sure it's the same cat? 100% sure, I swear. Take a deep breath before every challenge and after every success. And more importantly, tell everyone about the life, not the highs and the lows. Share it without holding back. My dearest lady, I'm sorry. I'm grateful. I'm leaving happy. Your